Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we continue our beat formula series right here at BusyWorksBeats.com slash premium. Today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, Pierre Bourne style tracks. So what we're going to do is use mostly uh, samples for now. And then we may go to the keyboard, but for this type of style, I don't think we're going to use the keyboard very much. So some sound selection is a clap. We have variations of claps. Here's the 808. Now we're going to create our own track. We're not going to copy um, Millie Rock or Magnolia. Even though I have the sounds from there, we're not going to copy the exact song. I'm just, I think it's so cheesy. And we have this FM8. I learned this from Aiden Kenway. Uh, the preset is called Easy Morph. Or excuse me, the preset is not called Easy Morph. It's under Transient Attacks and FM8. And go to Adam the Psycho. And then he went to Easy Morph, turned the harmonic to two and the stereo width to five. He had to tamper with the sound a little bit, but I'm going to sound design it to fit whatever we come up with today. So if I play one note, this is actually playing two notes. It's not playing one note. And that's why you get a certain sound with that. And nextly, we have Flex. Uh, the flute is under the Essential Winds. If you don't have this, go to Get and download those Essential Packs. They're for free. Uh, this one's called the essential wins okay and look for the flute sustain now one thing we need to do is turn off the effects on the flute like the limiter the master filter the reverb and then go to the cog icon go to the rinse tool turn on monophonic mode this will allow you to do like note bends like that okay so firstly let's get the chords ready we're at 164 bpm so again we're not re-mimicking uh, magnolia but we're using the same ingredients okay so let's right click Let's go to our channel rack, double click, hit control L to send everything to the mixer. Go to your FM8, right click, go to the piano roll. Now, the real music theory behind this is his chords. He likes the major seventh chords into minor seventh chords, um, basically seventh chords. Now here we're going to use these top notes here. So what we're doing here is what's giving the sound is the bass note here. So the top note is the same exact note. If we had to count this out, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. This is called a perfect fourth. And then we're moving into what's called a perfect fifth. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So th these are not chords per se, but if you look up the old definition for chords, these are technically chords, but these are known as intervals. And uh, this is called the perfect fourth and this is called the perfect fifth. They always harmonize. Now, keep in mind, the sound itself is not one note. It's it's multiple notes. So you're actually not playing just a perfect fourth and a perfect fifth. You're playing like an actual chord. You just can't see the notes. But that's how you get that jazz sound. You're just dropping that, that bottom note down. I'm going to sound design this a little bit. Uh, just okay, so you guys can understand. So for a more lighter sound, we're going to use a high pass filter. Again, Aiden Kenway has the exact formula for that sound. I'm not here to remake Magnolia. Okay, so let's add the low pass. And then we need to give this a shape. So let's boost it up like this. Let's chisel out. Where's our point here? Where's our point? Okay, let's make this resonance like this. And we need to put this on the right track. Drag it over here. So now it's going to sound more lightweight. Okay, you guys can add more touches to it. I think in Aiden's video, he shows like RC20. Let me show you guys an FL Studio free plugin, which is like RC20. If you open up Fruity Delay 3, turn the wet level all the way up, dry level down, feedback level down, delay time all the way down, everything else becomes an effect. Let's turn up the time modulation for a subtle pitch wobble. I'll exaggerate it so you guys can hear. And then pull that back. You could add filters, you could downsample. So you guys can do a lot with this. Okay, to get that video game type sound. And also too, people forget there's a saturation knob right here. Let's add that for a little density to the sound. Okay, so now we have those basic chords. We're gonna add this to the playlist. Let's go to song mode. We're gonna change our snap degree to a bar. Add this in. Okay, so now we have all that. So I'm building off of that because I want you guys to understand the fundamentals of where everything else comes from. Now for the flute, we have to figure out what key we're actually in. A great plugin you guys could use is called Scalar 2. Now, because we don't have a lot of notes uh, to like 
already existing. We can go here and we could hit record right here. Okay, so I've noticed too, Pierre Bourne's, one of his common scales is B minor, and that's in multiple songs. So one of his kind of go-to scales is the B minor scale, where 164 BPM Magnolia was a little bit sped up compared to other stuff. Uh, you know, we're going to run the Tresio 808. So what I mean by that is ta, 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 ta. That's the 808 pattern. Now for this 808, we're going to go to the envelope here. Turn up the whole parameter, turn everything else down. This will create a truncated sound. And now you just got to go through the key. Okay, so I guess we are recreating. All right, we're like a half step off. So should we... Dun So tresio is tresio, tresio, si yo, tresio, di. So it just repeats itself. It's tresio here, and then we have a tresio here. So that's a pattern that you guys are going to see over and over and over and over and over in hip hop. It just is so ubiquitous. Let's get this quantized. Now, the key here is not to drag out the notes the whole way. You want to shorten and truncate the notes. That's what creates that bounce is that subtle ending timing. Now this is pretty saturated of an 808, but if you guys wanted more out of it, you could add the Fruity Wave Shaper. Uh, go to the COG icon, turn your mix to about 50%, turn your up sampling or over sampling to 4X, and then go to Pre, and then turn your knob like this, turn the Pre up. the beat is just repeating that now for the flute we're going to do a different flute style because again i'm not here to like remake magnolia even though we did basically just do it here but it's such a specific sound you can't really teach it without recreating it let's go to the pattern here let's put our claps on the three and seven if you don't know what that is turn your pattern mode on turn your metronome on and just count one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so normalize this Make it a little bit louder. Also, the sample start has a little, little gap. There we go. Okay, so pretty much a rolling TR-808 layer with a snare. Now for this song, I'm going to layer the claps just because I want a thicker sound. So for the flute, where you guys can be a little more unique, even though you got this far by kind of copying, but let's be honest. Um, we're going to go to the flute on flex. We're going to um, figure out the scale, which we're in B minor. We're going to right click, change your root note to B. My favorite thing to do is go to minor pentatonic, because what you could do now is freestyle with your typing keyboard. And it will always sound good. This is called glissando, where we're gliding our notes up. That's why we have this. Okay, so I just played it by hand. Let me turn this thing off. There we go. All right, so we played that by hand. And there was one kind of note mistake. I'll go back and fix that. Now, the key here, too, is that truncated sound. We want to make it feel like we're sampling. So in the envelope, this is a little more complicated inside of Flex, but we want to make sure that we don't have a release tail. So let's turn the release down for the volume. So when I let that note go, it stops immediately. We're going to pull up the release just a little bit so it doesn't click. 
we want to really make sure the note ends when our playing ends. Here, like it has that stop sound. this point we need hi-hats and then I want to show you guys how to like add your own spin to it at least let's see do we have the magnolia hi-hat I don't know the exact hi-hat off the top of my head let's just add this one okay let's hit control L and this stuff to the mixer now for the hi-hats pretty basic it's just all the way through we're gonna fill each two steps Hold on, y'all. I got too many plugins, apparently. Hold up. So a lot of these notes are very short. So notice how those long notes like we're going to shorten them a little bit. So the note length really matters with the style. We don't want the notes to sound too long because it takes away from the bounce. Tell when those long notes come in, they're like, burp, burp. so I'm just fixing some of these. This section's a little early, so I'm gonna pull it to the right, hit Alt, and then left click to drag. Now, one compressor that I'm really starting to love the sound of is called the Rosetta Compressor from uh, Help Me Devon. Let me add it in here Rosetta Compressor. Here we go. Basically, I keep it in the middle. I keep it pretty much on default. I turn the auto gain compensation on. I keep it on light and I turn up the effect. This adds like a danceability to a track. It adds that groove that we need. Now you can feel the track actually move. Now for a bonus in this video, I'm going to do a different style as well. So now we know like Pierre Bourne's signature sound. Um, from his hit song. Now let's move into more of a customized sound that's not like copying from a song because y'all got to realize I really want to teach you guys concepts and not just copying something that somebody already did. I want to teach you guys the concepts. So to do that, I have to show you how to apply the concepts to create your own stuff. Very important as a producer. Uh, so let's copy all this stuff over. We're going to copy the clap and the hi-hats just to save time, um, but the music will be different. So we're going to use the same elements here except for the piano sound. Uh, what can we do for the piano? Let's use uh, the Morphine plugin in FL Studio. It has a really nice section here. If you go to Program Keyboards and go to their E pianos, these are really good. Okay, so his chord types that he really likes, again, his kind of go-to scale that I've heard so far is B minor. And uh, we're going to start in B minor and then build out the major chord and the minor chord. Excuse me. Let's do F sharp. I spoke too soon. F major uh, seventh. So we're going to go here, go to major seventh chord, 
and write this on F. Hit Alt-G to ungroup the notes. And now we just have to decide a bounce. Let's pull this down. Okay, nextly we're gonna do a minor seventh chord, which I believe it's G. Okay, so now we just had to figure out how long we wanna hold these chords. Again, hit Alt G to ungroup. My ear wants to go dun, dun, like that. That's just my ear. Okay, so for kind of flavor, what we're going to do is take the third, pull it down an octave, and then I want a little bit of tension here, so I'm going to add this F sharp. Let's add F. So now we can add these little notes in the chords. Okay, so that's how I make like creating a melody within the chord progression. Let's swap the actual preset. This one's a little reverby. Let's just end on the G or on the F. Okay, so let's add that in. We're just gonna copy and paste. So now we're gonna use that same flute and create a melody. Again, the key is you wanna find the root note in the scale, in this case B, and the scale is minor, but we're gonna use what's called the pentatonic. And basically you can freestyle without knowing what you're doing. It will always work. We're also gonna do multiple layers here and I might add another synth. First, let me practice a little bit. We might be in a different, yeah, B minor. Something is off. Let me make sure we're actually in B minor. I think I'm, I might have written in my notes uh, from a different thing. So let's figure out what key this is more leaning towards. So this one is D minor. I don't know why I put B minor on my thing. I must have been looking at two different songs. So D minor is the uh, reference here. And now I can freestyle with that flute. So let's do. Oh man, I recorded on that pattern. Let's go to a new pattern or else it cut you off like it just did. So it's gonna repeat the same phrase. Okay, so pretty cool. So notice the melody doesn't kick in for a while. Now let's open up GMS and let's do the same exact thing, minor pentatonic, this time with a higher pitched lead. We want something that has a sustain. So not like short little blips. We want something that's like, something like that. Let's go to our wrench tool, turn on monophonic mode. This one's a little too. So this one I'm going to do little doo 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 doo, boo 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 doo. So notice there's like repeating shapes. The one goes da 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 da, whereas this one goes doo 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 doo. I'm 
change those notes. There we go. That sounds better. All right, I found the right pattern because I'm playing. I'm not used to playing on my typing keyboard. So that one more time. There's a pattern to it. Okay, so do 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 do. Now again, the notes have to be nice and short, or else we're not gonna get that sound. Some of these are a little fast. Let's hit Alt Q. Make it a little more quantized. Swap out the E piano sound. So for something a little more gritty. There we go. I like this sound. Let's add this plugin called Kilohertz Reverser. It's a free plugin uh, because part of this sound kind of so it goes. It does forward and backward movement. Let's turn the mix level down though. Let's see if we can make this piano a little less harsh. Let's add some more chorus. Let's add one more lead in here. And then wide the bass. Yes, indeed. So I'm playing to a delay. Again, we need to go to the cog icon, rinse tool, turn on monophonic mode. Okay, so I'm going to play longer notes here. So this is contrasting the top line. So I messed up one of those notes. Okay, so now we just need to level a little bit more. I think this keyboard needs like a, a compressor on it. Let's go through more presets. I like that sound, but it might be better, this one. Sad. So I'm enforcing that bass with the third. Now here I'm adding what's called the fifth down an octave. So now it's just about finding the right sounds that fit in this vibe. So we have the backbone now. So let's go back and change out the source sound.
Another thing we can do to make that piano glide a little bit more is go to the cog icon, turn on what's called portamento, and turn up the slide. So it goes like, like that. Now let's add that Tresio bass. So that's what the Tresio bass sounds like. Let's hit Alt-Q and then Control down to pull that down and knock it. So we could add more synths in here. So I'm going to go in and ch change up a couple of bass notes to make it more musical. Now I'm just going to level.
let's play the first section and then our second section, which is a different beat. Guys, it's Storm in here. You guys will get the project files for free. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. Thank you guys for watching the Beat Formula series. I appreciate you. Subscribe, like the video, share with a friend. Peace.